So today, I got something in the mail. Now this came all the way from Australia. Now as you can tell, it kind of looks like the gauge is missing, but it's in there. So, the reason why I got it all the way from Australia is because I actually got this kit cheaper in Australia than I could have got it in China or the US. So what this one here is, is this is my uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge and with it comes all my pyro gauge my weld in everything so that's really nice so this right here will tell me how hot the diesel is running so this will be installed into the exhaust manifold to make sure that the diesel is not overheating on the fuel side because if the engine gets too hot I can burn out the turbo I can cook pistons I can burn the rings right out of it all that fun stuff and the other gauge I got, now that temp gauge I will not be able to install until I have the exhaust done. So that's still a ways away. But the other gauge that I got, if I can get it out of the box. Jeez. Those Australian guys, they really know how to package their stuff. Oh my goodness. They make the thing ten times harder to come out of the box than it needs to be. That's why they actually have it kind of mounted in there. But this one right here is a boost and vacuum gauge. So this right here, uh, I like to have these in all my diesels because if something's going wrong or I can kind of monitor how the vehicle's running and if something changes, this will be the first thing, one of the first things I look at to see if the vehicle's running any different. So that, that, I think this came to like 128 Australian dollars, which is not really that much. I didn't know this, but I guess the Canadian dollar is actually better than the Australian dollar. And we have this nice dual mount pod. Now there's a couple places I can mount this pod. Um, I was actually thinking doing this like an old uh, GTO kind of thing where it mounts on the hood, but I haven't really decided yet. Let's uh, let's take a look. So option number one is I could mount this on the hood right there in front of me. Now I'm not too sure how that would look, but let me just sit inside the truck here and see if I can even see the gauges. You know what? I can see them pretty clearly, right through the dash. They, uh, they actually, if anything, I maybe bring it towards the, the, the side here a little bit more, but I can actually see those pretty clearly. So that is one option I can do is I could mount these square flush on the hood. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? So the other option is that I bring these this mount inside the cab. Now I will have the dash mat on here probably later on today or tomorrow. I could put the, the mount right there, which that really does not look that bad. Another option is that I get a little bracket and put it underneath here of some kind, maybe cut it away a little bit, have it flush mount underneath. This is where the stock ashtray goes, maybe even over here. I'm not too sure, but you know what? That seems to work right there. So maybe we'll either put it there or on the hood. I'm a little leery of drilling holes into the hood because once you drill holes through paint, you can't really fill them up that easy. But uh, I don't know. We're going to get this installed soon. Today, we're probably going to get the boost gauge, sorry, the boost hardware installed on the motor. And I'll just won't run anything until I find out where I want it to go. But We'll see. And like I said, the exhaust can't go on until the exhaust is actually on the truck. So that's still a while away, but I can get everything mounted and just have it all ran and then have it ready to be put in when it's ready.